So let's start with the question that you're going to get on the call, which is in about half an hour, and it is how much you're going to increase buybacks and when? Well, Alex, we're a better company than we were just a few years ago. Our costs are down, our production is up, and we're way more capital efficient. And that means we can generate more free cash flow at the same level of commodity prices. First, our dividend is up 12% from pre-COVID. So that's the biggest dividend mm -hmm. increase in the sector. And we are buying back shares and started this quarter. Uh, and we've increased our buyback range to our, our buyback guidance on fourth quarter to the top of the range. So what we've said is, is we continue to pay down net debt. And we're uh, below 20% now. And we're fast approaching a level where we can increase that buyback range in the future. We, we intend to maintain a buyback through the cycle over multiple years. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to buy back not just when times are good, but also when times are, are tougher. Okay, fair enough. So uh, I wonder then what the criteria is, like not only when it comes to paying down debt, but what kind of outlook and uh, oil and natural gas forecast you need to have to feel secure in committing to that buyback consistently. The outlook is positive. We've seen a strong demand recovery, but still more to come. Office commuting, international travel, business travel still picking up. Um, and, and really across all of our products, we're seeing stronger prices and margins. So this is clearly an up uh, part of the commodity cycle, but we know commodities also uh, go down. And so we need to manage uh, the business through the cycle. Our objective is to deliver higher returns, lower carbon. Um, we want to do that through the cycle. And returning excess mm -hmm. cash in, in buybacks is something we do. We've done it 14 out of the last 18 years. We've done it at a price in the mid 80s. So it's been a good way to return cash to shareholders. But our primary focus is on growing the dividend. Again, a right. dividend that's up 12% since COVID and up for 34 consecutive years. Um one more, uh, two more quick questions uh, on buybacks, I promise. But I'm trying to understand what I should take away from your view on buybacks. It's important. You want it to be consistent. But I'm wondering if that, me if I can interpret that means we're not going to see $85 oil prices for the next three years, that we're not going to necessarily see some kind of supply shock that some are forecasting. Buybacks are our fourth priority over growing the dividend, investing in the business, and maintaining a strong balance sheet. And when we have excess cash, we return it to shareholders. So we don't know what commodity markets are going to do in the future. It wasn't that long ago we had negative oil prices a year ago. Mm -hmm. That surprised us. Maybe we're being surprised a little bit on the upside. I've been in the business for 32 years. We know commodity businesses have cycles. Su supply and demand can get a little bit out of sync. We manage the business for long-term value through the cycle, if we generate cash in excess of those our top three priorities, mm -hmm. we'll return in the form of buybacks. And again, we're, we, we can generate a lot of excess cash. Uh, one more question on this, and then I'll relieve you of the buyback conversation. Um, there is currently a framework in DC where we could see a tax uh, on buybacks. Um, how do you think about that when you're thinking about buybacks? Well, we, it's early days. We need to see uh, all the text on, on the proposal and see if it actually gets uh, enacted in the end. We don't think it's a good idea to discourage companies from returning cash to shareholders. Again, this is cash in excess, for Chevron at least, of paying a dividend, mm -hmm. investing in the business to grow the business, both in the traditional energy business and in new energies. We announced a tripling of our capital to low, lower carbon businesses mm -hmm. and maintaining a strong balance sheet, again, because we know commodities have price cycles. So when we have excess cash beyond that, it's the shareholders' cash. We should, be, uh, and it, we should return it to them, and we don't think taxing it is a good idea.